Hey everyone, welcome back to another interesting video. In this video, we are going to solve a very interesting question which is there on the whiteboard. Suppose we have given a number n which is equal to 12 cube times 3 raised to 4 times 5 square and we have asked about how many even factors does n have. That means we have to find the number of even factors of this number n. So, how to solve this question? Now, factors means we have some even factors and some odd factors, right? And we have specifically asked about even factors, right? So, for that, let us first find out how many factors does n have and then from them, we will count even number of factors. So, let's start. Now, here n is equal to 12 cube times 3 raised to 4 times 5 square. So, let's write prime factorization of n that means just express n as product of powers of prime that means let me write so 12 is equal to 2 square times 3 right 4 into 3. So, let me write here so 2 square times 3 and its cube right times 3 raised to 4 times 5 square. Now, just take this this power of 3 and this. So, this will be 2 raised to 6 times 3 raised to 7 times 5 square, right. So, we have the prime factorization of n as so, we have n is equal to 2 raised to 6 times 3 raised to 7 times 5 square. And now, prime factorization means these 2, 3, 5, these are prime numbers and the powers of prime. So, 2 raised to 6, 3 raised to 7, 5 square, right? These are powers of prime. So, this is a prime factorization of the number n. Now, what is the next step to find out the number of factors of n? So, look at these powers. So, we have this power 6 this is 7 and this is 2. So, the number of factors, so let me write, so let us say t denotes the total number of factors. So, total number of factors of the number n of n. So, what is t? So, let us find out t. So, t means you just take these powers 6 then 7 and 2 and just add 1 to them and take the product. That means what? This is equal to 6 plus 1. Take the product with 7 plus 1 because the next power is 7 and the next power is 2. So, 2 plus 1. Now, what is this? This is nothing but 7 times 8 times 3, right? And this is equal to 56 times 3 which is equal to 168, right? And thus we have, so let me write t is equal to 168. Now out of them, there are some even factors and odd factors and we have asked about even factors. So how to find the number of factors which are even? So for that, now here we have total number of factors. Now if we subtract the number of factors which are odd, then we will get the number of factors which are even, right? So, for that, let us find odd number of factors. How many odd number of factors are there? So, look at this number n. Now, here we have this 2, right? So, whenever in the factor you have 2, that will, that will become an even number, right? Because it is multiplication by 2. So, just forget about these powers. Now, whenever you have 2 odd numbers, right? Then their multiplication is again an odd number. So, whenever you have this 3 raised to 7 times 5 square or various powers of 3 and 5 and their multiplication, then that factor of n will be an odd factor of n, right? So, let us find the odd number of factors. That means, whenever the factors are 3 raised to 7 times 5 square or 3 raised to 6 times 5 or something like that. That means combination of 3 powers of 3 and 5. So, so how many are they? So, just take 
let us denote it by O. So, O means the number of all factors of n. Now, just we have done this right, just add 1 to the power and take the multiplication. So, here the power of 3 is 7. So, add 1 here power of 5 is 2. So, just add 2 uh, add 1 to 2 and take their multiplication. So, the multiplication is just 7 plus 1 that is 8 and 2 plus 1 that is 3 and this is equal to 24. That means we have the number of all factors of n are 24 right and so the number of even factors or our answer. So, our answer is just equal to t minus o right the total number of factors minus the total number of odd factors. So, which is equal to 168 minus 24 and that is equal to 4 and 4 and 1. So, the total number of even factors of the number n are 144 that means there are 144 even numbers which divides this n. I hope you find this useful. Thank you for watching this video.